Let me ask you a question. How long have you been with your current bank account? Have you ever wondered if there's a bank account that can offer you zero monthly keeping fee, no ATM withdrawal fee both in Australia and overseas, no international transaction fee, saving account can offer you a competitive interest rate? Is this too demanding, Irene? No, 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 not at all. With 76 financial institutions that offer bank accounts, I have filtered three of them and let me share with you today. Not surprisingly, these would not be the big four banks and there might be the banks that you never heard of, but don't worry, I have made sure that the banks that I'm going to mention are covered under the financial claim scheme, which protects the bank holder up to 250,000 if the bank goes under. I initially narrowed down to nine bank accounts and I further reduced only three on the list. I wonder who they are. The first bank account is Ubank U Spend. And Ubank actually is a division of NAP. It's kind of like a relationship between Jetstar to Qantas Airline. However, Ubank is an online-only bank with no ATMs or branches. The good thing about being a digital bank is that they normally offer a competitive interest rate and low fees. This U-Spend transaction account cannot be opened on its own. It has to be added to its U-Safe saving account. And the Visa debit card supports Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay. And the mobile app offers a SWIFT technology that automatically moves the money between these two accounts to make sure that you have enough money to pay the regular bills as well as sticking to your saving goal. The requirement to enjoy the maximum variable interest rate of 1.1% currently is fairly easy. You just need to deposit $200 monthly to either of these two accounts and there's no withdrawal or balance requirement. The second bank account is ING Orange Everyday Transaction Account and this bank account was highly recommended by the Barefoot Investor Scott Pape in his books. And ING becomes the most recommended bank in Australia with 2 million customers, which accounts 8% of the population. And ING is a wholly owned subsidiary of the multinational bank, Deutsche Bank ING Group. To have your international ATM fees refunded back to your account and have zero international transaction fee, you have to meet two criteria. One, you have to deposit $1,000 monthly to the account. And second, you have to make five settled purchases every month. You can link this everyday transaction account to its saving account account, which is called ING Saving Maximizer. Currently, it offers 1.35%, which is the highest interest rate that I came across. And to enjoy this maximum variable interest rate that you need to meet the above two criteria that I mentioned earlier, plus to grow your balance of this saving account from the month before. And this amount can be even 10 cents or $1. This interest rate is very competitive. However, it's only applicable to $100,000. So if you have a larger balance, maybe this is not the option that you're looking for. And there will be some changes from the 1st of December, 2021. The good news is that ING will introduce a 1% cashback on the eligible utility payments, gas, water, and electricity made via BPAY or direct debit account number, not the card number. The bad news is ING will only rebase on the first five fee incurring ATM withdrawals, both domestic and international ATM withdrawals, and the rebase on international transaction fee is still unlimited. And of course, to enjoy this benefit, you still need to deposit $1,000 per month and make five settled purchases per month. I use this orange card and to me, this is not too bad. I barely withdraw cash from ATMs nowadays. And even I do, for example, I go to the market, five times should be enough. And I can always cash out from the supermarket. The last bank account is HSBC Everyday Global Account. And this bank account take the first four criteria but actually the saving account interest rate is not that fantastic. But the reason it still sits on the list is because it has two bonus features. It offers a 2% cashback on tap and pay purchases under $100 up to $50 cashback per month when you deposit $2,000 monthly. And second, this card is a great travel debit card when you head overseas because it allows you to hold up to 10 different currencies and you won't be charged fees on purchases made overseas in shop or online. You can link this transaction account to the saving account which currently offers 0.25% which is really low but I don't really recommend it. So what I do is every month I deposit $2,000 into this bank account and because I track our living spend so I roughly know how much we spend every month so in the end I transfer back some cash into my ING bank account. There's a small tip on this 2% cashback because to enjoy this cashback, any tap and pay purchases has to be under $100. So for example, you go to the supermarket, your bill ends up to be $102. You can't enjoy this 2% cashback unless that you split the bill. I had a little hiccup when I tried to register the online banking with HSBC. After I received my card, I just couldn't 
do it online. So I had to call the customer service and apparently they had to help me set up a pin. And we tried a couple of times and it just didn't get through. And it turned out to be, I had to turn my phone speaker off. For the ING Orange car, so far I'm pretty happy about their service. And I know the interest rate 1.35%. Although it is the highest interest rate that I came across among all the bank accounts, but it's still very low return. But everybody needs some cash sitting somewhere to leave my emergency fund with ING saving maximizer. And that was for me. So which bank account are you currently with? And are you happy with it? If I miss any bank account that offers great deals, please feel free to leave a comment and let us know. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye.